I'm Allison. I'm Grant. And we're with the Winkle. And today we're making a propeller car. The propeller car is such a fun project. We love things that go and move and that you build yourself. Grant especially. And speaking of Grant, he's the one that came up with this project. He researched it and he got it just right so that you guys can do it at home. Should we see what's in our kit today? Yeah. All right. A propeller, five popsicle sticks, a straw, two straws, four wheels, two marbles, four cubes, glue, tape, rubber bands, two skewers, which will be our axles, and last but not least, two paper clips. On top of everything in your kit today, all you'll need is a pair of scissors, and then we're ready to get started. Okay, so a few things about the propeller car. We have the basics of what actually makes a real car. So we have the body or the chassis. That's going to be our square popsicle stick frame. We also have um, the axle housing and the axle. We have four wheels. So what's our motor on the propeller car? The uh, rubber bands. Rubber band gives what's called potential energy. And as you wind it and wind it and wind it, that's creating that tension that's in there. And when you release it, that's going to create energy and make our propeller spin and make our car go. First, you're gonna get out four popsicle sticks and your glue. You can keep everything else in your bag for right now. That way you don't lose it or lose track of it. We're gonna build a perfect square, okay? So one popsicle stick should have glue on each side. Not a lot. And when you're doing your glue, you don't want a whole lot. You just want to, oh, Grant did it perfect. You just want a little dot. But if you do too much, it takes forever for it to dry, and then that's no fun. Try and make that square as even as possible. So when you're making a square, these are called right angles right here. Okay, now we're gonna build our axle and our axle housing. Your axle is gonna be these skewers right here. So you see how they're going to come out the side of your chassis and the wheels are gonna be stuck to them like that. If you have your straw that long, and you put your wheel on it, your wheel's not gonna have enough space to turn. So you might have to give your straw a little trim. I mean your housing a little trim. That way when you put your axle in there, there's enough space for your wheels on both sides. See that? So I can have my wheels on there and my axle housing and there's plenty of room for it to spin freely. It's not too snug against those wheels. Okay, and do that to both straws. You want both straws to be the same length and then you're going to glue them to your popsicle stick. Remember, just a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot. You're gonna let that dry for a little bit, but later on, we're actually gonna tape our axle housing to our chassis so that it's more secure, because that glue can sometimes come undone and then your whole car would fall apart. Move your chassis aside, we're going to build our blocks now. See in our model car, we have to have this like support structure right here. Why does it have to be so tall? Why does it have to be four cubes tall? So the propeller doesn't hit the ground. That's right. For the cube structure, we're just going to put a dot of glue between each cube and stack them up nice and neat. And we don't want to touch these while we're doing this because then the glue will not set correctly. Make sure your tower is nice and straight and then you can set that aside next to your chassis. Okay, now we're going to make the engine part of your propeller car. That's going to include the propeller, the paper clip, the rubber band, and another popsicle stick. Insert the popsicle stick in the propeller. Okay, this is the shape we're going to make with our paper clips. So it can be a little confusing. I gave you two paper clips, so you have two chances to get it right. So you're going to take the small part of your paper clip right here, hold the large part of your paper clip in your other hand with your pincher fingers. We're gonna bend it apart like this. Okay, so we just made an L. Then with your thumb on the big part of your paper clip, press that to an angle like this. Okay, now the small part of your paper clip, the small hoop, we're just gonna kind of squeeze it tight a little bit and we are going to attach it to our popsicle stick using our tape. So take about two or three inches of your tape, attach that small part to your popsicle stick and we've gotta wrap this pretty tight. Cause the rubber bands will pull it when you're winding it. 
That's and right. You don't put it tight enough. Pop broke. See right here? I've got to kind of go under there with my tape, and I'm really rolling it really tight. Just squish that tape all on there and make sure that paper clip is nice and secure. Now see how it is coming up like this and scooping around like that? That's gonna be perfect to attach our rubber band right here. So hook your rubber band into that hook right there on your propeller and then you're gonna hook it around your paper clip also. And then you can experiment like we have using one rubber band or two rubber bands and see what you like better. All right, so carefully take your stack of cubes. It's probably not dry yet. So take that carefully and we're going to glue our popsicle stick to the top of this right about here. Okay, we're gonna come back to the chassis and see my straws didn't glue very well to my popsicle stick, so I'm gonna take about an inch of tape, you don't need very much, secure it to the popsicle stick. Very tightly, just tightly, like color. right? Not too tight, you don't wanna smash your straw. And wrap it around, and I'm gonna do that on all four sides of my chassis. And make sure the straw is not crooked or else your car will turn. That is going to be a really solid chassis. You're going to take your wheel and insert a little dab of glue inside that hole in the middle and put your skewer through the hole. So we've taken our skewer and pushed it through. It's okay if it's pointing out on the other side actually. And you're going to just secure it again on the other side with some glue. These are going to act as one solid piece. So as the wheel turns, the axle is turning as well. So it's totally okay for this wheel to be glued to the axle. It is not okay for this wheel to be glued to the straw, the, the housing, because this is stationary. This is what's rotating. Now you're gonna put the axle through the housing and put your wheel on the other side. Again, insert some glue, put it on your skewer. It's gonna poke out, that's okay. Add some more glue. Just make sure that no glue is sticking to this straw right here. Just remember that the wide wheelbase is helping keep the car on the ground. If you do a narrow wheelbase, the power of that propeller, that energy that it's creating, could take your car and flip it. Hey, drawing time. It's so hard to wait. Okay, now we are going to put just a tiny dot of glue on the front of your car, where you want the front to be. Yep, and you're gonna go in the middle of the front. So I'm going to go in the middle as best as I can right there and glue my propeller, my engine, to the front of the car. Okay, now we're waiting for this motor in the front to dry and it's gonna take some time, so be very patient. While we're waiting for that to dry, we can also add our marbles to the back of the car. So I'm gonna add a little dot of glue here and here and glue the marbles. Now what are the marbles for, Grant? When I was prototyping this, I tried it without the marbles and it just went <laughs> because uh, it didn't have any weight to balance it off. Okay, so the marbles help give it balance and stability in the back, is that right? So most cars have engines in the front, right? Like ours? Yeah. Quiz, what car does not have an engine in the front? Uh, slug bug? A slug bug, a Volkswagen bug? That's right, in the front they have the um, storage compartment where you can put your luggage and in the back is where the engine is. Okay, you want to wait. Wait, wait, wait. There's no rush on this car. You have to wait till that glue is nice and dry before you try taking your propeller car for a drive. Okay, our cars are finally dry and they are done. Okay, so we hooked one rubber band into the hook. Try two rubber bands, and you guys are the engineers of your cars. You get to decide how many rubber bands you want to use. Now, we're going to twist up our propeller, and you guys, you're the engineers on this. So if you want to use one rubber band or two rubber bands, that's up to you. If you want to twist up the propeller a lot and see what that does, you can do that too. If you just want to twist it a little bit, you experiment. This is your project and you can see how you want your car to go. Okay, should we test mine out? Yeah. 
My turn. Oh no! My turn. Ah! Kaboom! Okay, well I hope you guys had so much fun making your propeller car today. We would love to see how it turned out. If you have a grown up, take a picture or video, post it to social media and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That is at the Winkle Crate. That's right. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out and be a cheerleader for your Winkle projects. Yay! Well, have fun everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye! Bye! And today we are making oh, the wheel just fell off. How can I put a fart in the video? They, you're gonna smell it like four dimensionally. Yeah. Oh, that's how bad it is. So bad. Chossy. Chossy. Sounds fancy. Sounds fancy. Are we in France now?